<laughs> she lo- Hey, I was at the strip club on Thursday. Pardon me. On Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah. Because you were off on Friday? Yeah, I went what, to What, uh, last minute uh, trip to the Lido? Um, we went to we did not we should have. We did not. We went to uh we were at Music Box, which by the way, never... not a strip club by the way, I might add. I know. All right. We went there first for the Pichacha event. Um it's like a like a bunch of people speak and they have slides. And our friend was speaking at it, so we went to that. And Christie's is right across the street from Music Box, and uh, they also have their own different pachacha event. They certainly there. do. Yeah. <laughs> They're sliding. So all the guys were gonna go, and then my one friend Maggie was like, "I'm down." And I'm like, "I can't leave a girl to go by herself with the dudes." So I went with. Mm-hmm. How was that? It was business as usual. The squad was all there. Who all your yeah, Ian it was, went? It was a lot of it was squad gentlemen were there. Yeah. So it was all dudes and then two of and you. And then yeah, me and my friend Maggie. The other so, girls were like, no. But I was like, I'll be a good sport. But then they were trying to make me like put dollar bills into the chick's G string. Well, yeah, or whatever. that's what you do. I'm more of like a bystander at a strip club. I'm there to for social commentary. <laughs> Um, and to observe. I'm so not you, there to, to you know. You're like a mall cop. Observe and report. Yeah, I'm not trying to get a lap dance or anything. I'll just watch everybody else. It's fun for me to watch my friends do all that stuff. I don't need to be the one doing it. But they peer pressured me, so I kind of like made it rain on some chick, and then that was it. They peer pressured you into making it rain? Yeah. And how did you do that? You got a handful of ones and flicked yeah. it at her? My friend got out $100 worth of ones. Right. Put the stack on the table. I Use the ATM. Yep. Sixteen dollar and seventy five cent service fee. I, you know Worth it. Every yep. penny. That's right. Then he just divvied up the dollars, and then he handed me a stack and was like, "Come on, just go, just go." I'm like, "If you'll leave me alone, then I'll go do something." So then I just went up there. I'm like, "I'm not touching her underwear." So I just made it rain. <laughs> well, because being being standoffish is what drew attention to yourself. That's why they were going to try to get you up there. Oh yeah. And you could have girl... talked. You could have tucked a single into her G string and been done for the night. I should have done yeah, that because right. then, because I made it rain. Apparently, that's like not a thing that happens very often there. Um, so she came over Especially to the on table Thursday. on a Thursday. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. She came over to the table after and was like trying to talk to me. I'm like, I, I don't know what to say to you. You're a very nice person. You're very pretty, but I'm not, I'm not a part of this. I'm just here to watch. Wow. You're so prudish at the strip club. Why do you, you should just dove right in. It's not that it's just not my thing. Well, it's not my know. thing either. But when I go, I have a good time. Like I just feel sorry for them. I'm like, why? they're working hard. Like, I'll, you know, I'll pay you $100 if you p- put your clothes back on. You feel sorry for them. I feel bad. They're making money. They're working hard. There are women they don't know making it rain all over them. I know it's their choice to do that and everything, but I just, I, fe- I can't help but feel bad. And I can't help but wonder, like, you know, maybe they're going to get their big break and they don't have to strip anymore or whatever. Big break. This is their big break. Any of them have C-section scars? That's always, I like Actually, that Actually, for a Thursday night lineup? They had some beautiful babies out there. Beautiful. Yeah. I was actually surprised. I'm like, okay. Hello, Christie's. There's good looking strippers in Cleveland. Oh, yeah. These a lot are of them. The one girl that came over to talk to me that I made it rain on, she was like, she could be a model, right, an but, actual fashion model. But, like, why don't you do that? But then that's why, if it was an uggo, I'd understand what you're talking about. But why didn't you like take advantage of you have a beautiful woman in front of you? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not gay <laughs> at all. Who's g- what? <laughs> I, like you're I, gay if you put a, a dollar bill no, in a. D- I didn't say that, but I'm not trying to. I didn't. I didn't mean her leave a snail trail on your cheek. I meant like you know, <laughs> know. just get a little whatever. And you didn't have really? a motorboat or anything like that. You just well, the last time I was throw, there, what are you, they what are you guys me. always doing? You guys are always putting everything on Instagram. Put it on Instagram. Here's Eric again, a lap dance. Ha ha ha. You know, you would have gotten a million views on that. Yeah, but uh, I don't. It's just not for me. I don't know. I get, I get what they're there to do, and I get why people like to go. It's just not my thing. No, but I'm saying if you're there, why stand in a corner? I didn't. I was sitting at the table near she the made stage. It rain. I made it rain on some hoes. Okay. Oh, now they're hoes. <laughs> well, no, I just, just ladies, it's a listen, speech. I, uh, ladies, it's let a terminology. Me, yeah, let me, ladies, be the first to say as. As a proponent of and as a supporter of the stripper community, ladies, let me be the first to apologize. This program is pro-stripper. In no way 
do the opinions <laughs> of my cohort here in referring to you as hoes. No, H-O-S-E, any... she was wearing nylons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine, I will accept that. I made it rain all over those hoes. You know what, I can't argue, because Just I don't know. Just a bunch know. of garden <laughs> equipment there. That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs>